Hey guys, Dan with Carly Suspension here. Wanted to make a quick uh, impromptu video. We got ourselves a 2019 3500 from a local customer, grabbed the first one off the lot. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions from customers on these things because obviously there's been some huge exterior changes, interior changes. Question is, how much does the suspension change? It looks to be pretty much the same as the previous years. Uh, in this quick little video, I want to run over what we found. Because of all the questions we've been getting, we've been super eager to get one in here, test fit that 2013 to 2018 product line, see what needs to change, uh, and see if it's going to be a big deal or not, and if we can come to market super quick or if it's going to take us a little bit. So the good news is everything looked to pretty much bolt in. We do have to make a few little product changes. I'm going to run over those in this video. Uh, the truck has changed for the better, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of changes that you saw on the, from the previous years where you've got um, issues with the track bar bracket, you've got issues with the steering. Well, those have been addressed in this platform along with massive aesthetic changes to this truck. So we're super happy with the result and excited to run over these changes with you. So here goes. We got shocks and coil springs. We've got torsion sway bar. These are all current products. Uh, everything bolted in with the exception of the sway bar. We got a slightly more narrow frame width on this uh, 2019. So there's gonna have to be a change there. Uh, the coil springs and shocks went right in. The radius arm drop brackets right here. Those went right in as well with some hardware changes. With the massive new factory exhaust, you can't even fit a standard nut between the exhaust uh, and the frame rail or radius arm drop bracket, so we got to do some hardware changes there. Now this is where we're seeing the biggest changes here. Uh, they went ahead and upgraded the factory track bar bracket to a Ford reminiscent forged bolt-in bracket. No more chintzy sheet metal brackets with a brace and a brace for a brace and a recall to nutsert the brace for the brace for the brace. Looks like they finally fixed what they had going on with the track bar, so huge improvement there. Uh, what that means for the Carly track bar, we did have to make a couple changes, so we're talking a uh, 2014 plus Ram bar uh, with a couple changes to it that we're going to have to make in production. Uh, should be coming down the pipe with that relatively quick, but now we know what we're doing. Uh, for the steering, looks like they did a pretty big upgrade on the steering. You can see physically how large this steering system is. Again, an awesome change, and you can also see they went away from the problematic jam nuts and adjustment collar that nobody knew what they were doing with that they recalled and told you to bring into the dealership so that they can now weld the nuts after they tighten them and blah 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 so you've got a standard pinch bolt and you've got an adjustment collar there pretty easy uh, I don't think any alignment shops are going to be screwing that up I mean it will less of a chance at least that they're going to be screwing that up but uh, way easier to work with than the currently recalled problematic jam nut style steering. So that's cool there. Uh, Carly diff guard bolts directly in. So tested that on this truck, no problems whatsoever. That thing bolted straight in. All right, so as I said before, we've got this truck here that is an auto leveling air assist. That means that uh, it's got factory airbags, factory leaf spring packs. Uh, and the part number on our leaf spring packs you'll notice is the same for the 2013 up plus whatever trucks so we are talking the same spring pack goes in this same airbag spacers we were running before uh, the relocation for the height sensor uh, same exact bracket that we use so everything here we were pretty lucky uh, bolted pretty much straight in with no drama all right hanging out on the passenger side frame rail here by the radius arm drop bracket you can see the factory air tank right there for the auto leveling air assist trucks what this means is it's in place with our radius arm drop brackets, it's in place with the factory uh, power steps here, so there's no more relocation necessary for that air tank, uh, which means no more bracket to eliminate your spare tire, none of that. Uh, less expensive, less complicated. It hangs out up there, Dodge fixed it, no more amp step problems hitting it, no more radius arm uh, drop problems hitting it so everything's good there again they rarely make things cheaper and easier but in this situation that's what we've got 
All right, now let's talk wheels tires. Uh, fuel, I went ahead and hooked this customer up with a new set of their uh, podiums. It's a 20 by nine. It's a five inch backspace, so a zero plus one offset. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, everything worked out great. Wheels look great. Tires fit. That's a Nitto Ridge Grappler 3713.5 R20. Uh, trimming to get all this to work. There was a little piece of uh, plastic little cap right here that goes in. Uh, no big deal, trim that up, trim the pinch weld a little bit right here, uh, and trim the inner fender liner. Everything fits, clears great at this point, so uh, wheel and tire fitment is going to be the same as the previous year trucks. You can see on this side pretty much exactly the same. If you got one of these at home, you can kind of compare to what we got going on here, but very minimal trimming. You have a hard time even looking at that, telling me what was trimmed. So. Uh, yeah, again, wheel and tire fitment, pretty much the same thing. So there you have it, guys. That's the 2019 3500 Auto Leveling Air Assist platform. Um, it's been a long time since we've said that a manufacturer has made all suspension-related changes for this platform for the better, but uh, we're pretty stoked on the result. Well, minus the speed holes in the radius arm, but I guess that is good for us because it means we're going to sell more radius arms. Um, but uh, yeah, we still have the 3500 with the standard leaf spring pack in the back that we've got to test fit. Uh, we've got the 2500 with the coil springs. We've got the leveling systems. Long road ahead of us. Uh, but we wanted to bring you this video because of how many inquiries we're getting on a daily basis. Uh, so we thought this would be useful information for you guys. And as we get more, the 2500, the other 3500 in here, we'll try to bring you a video. Uh, some sort of pictures, some sort of analysis of that platform as well before we come to market with some product to prepare you guys for what we're going to be launching. Uh, but that's what we got on this platform. Hope you enjoyed the video.